life and death, the truth revealed. And the truth is quite a surprise. I never thought of it that way or interpreted it that way. Um, you know, I mean, 2012 came and went, and, uh, you know, all the prophecies supposedly didn't come true. However, you can see a number of things happening in the world, and really that's what the 2012 prophecy was about. It's a process. Uh, we're not just going to be zapped in one moment. The destruction of our world and our species, and perhaps all the species, is happening slowly now. You see huge changes in the economies of the world, in the animal kingdom, in nature, uh, the extinction of many species in the animal kingdom, I mean. In nature, as in all the different floods, storms, catastrophes, fires, um, the weather is changing as we've depleted the ozone layer. We're raping the earth more and more of oil and fracking, things like this. This kind of thing isn't just going to magically disappear. Uh, the economies won't be fixed because we print money. Uh, you know, it's so. You know, it's a really interesting interpretation of the uh, proverb or uh, statement in the Bible, and the dead will walk among us. What does that mean? That the dead would walk among us. What's the truth about life and death? What's the significance? Should we just get by and take what we can and live in self-interest before you die? Or is there some greater truth? Some bigger truth? To all of this, should you give a shit? Should you just do nothing? What should you do? So this is part one, a audio that I listened to from Equal called Reptilians, Life and Death, part one. And I urge you to listen to it and you will be surprised. Thank you.